gleaming and lustrous, these bowls are examples of traditional lacquerware. This is one of the most distinctive crafts of Japan. Today we examine the depth and beauty of lacquerware, both in traditional culture and in modern day Japan. Lacquerware is created by items made of wood with layers of lacquer, a natural resin obtained from the lacquer tree. Lacquer tableware, such as serving boxes and bowls, is an essential aspect of Japanese culinary culture and widely used even today. Lacquer, known as urushi in Japanese, is a natural material obtained from the sap of a particular tree. These urushi trees have been cultivated as a source of lacquer since ancient times. When the trunk of the tree is cut, it produces a resin to try and repair the wound. This resin is urushi. The resin is a milky white color when it is collected. Various pigments are added to color this resin. For example, if iron powder is added, it causes a chemical reaction with the lacquer which turns it black. The colored lacquer is used as a coating on the wooden base. After a layer of lacquer has been applied evenly, it is left to dry. This process is repeated numerous times to build up a surface that gives the item durability and luster. This bowl is coated with black lacquer. The deep gleam adds a sense of refinement to its beauty. This type of lacquerware is frequently seen in Japan. Red lacquerware is equally common. In ancient times, red was believed to be an auspicious color that kept away evil spirits and brought good luck. For that reason, red lacquerware was used in religious rituals and was greatly prized. This tray has been varnished with a clear lacquer. In this technique, the wood itself is impregnated with the lacquer. The natural gleam highlights the beauty of the grain of the wood. Akira Murayama is one of Japan's leading wood craftsmen, and he has been recognized as a living national treasure. Most of Murayama's works are lacquered using a technique known as fukiurushi, This is how the fukiyurushi technique is done. First, a coating of lacquer is applied to the wood using a brush. The urushi is wiped thoroughly with a cloth to ensure that it has been applied evenly. Allowing the wood to soak up the lacquer helps to make the patterns of the grain stand out more clearly. The surface is then carefully polished with sandpaper. This entire procedure is then repeated five or six more times. The coat of urushi is applied, then polished and sandpapered. Repeating these steps ensures that the simple, natural beauty of the wood is seen at its best. The entire process can take months to produce a single piece. Here are some of the pieces that Murayama has made using the fukiyurushi technique. He says he tries to listen to the voice of the wood as he works it. In these pieces, the surface of the wood seems to emanate a gentle warmth. Lacquer working techniques like this help to impart an extra depth of beauty to wood, which is such an essential part of the Japanese tradition. <laughs> 